Today we're looking at example two, a warning example on local minimum out of section 6.3, critical points in extrema, out of business calculus with Excel. We're going to look at a quadratic function in two variables where the origin is a minimum in x and a minimum in y, but not a minimum in general. This illustrates that we need to use the discriminant or other values to evaluate critical points. f of xy is going to be x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. When we compute the partial derivatives, the partial derivative with respect to x is 2x minus 3y. The partial derivative with respect to y is minus 3x plus 2y. It's clear that at the origin, both partials are 0. But the slice curves give minimums on both partials, but the graph doesn't give a minimum. And so I've set up a simple table for it, produced a graph of in 3D, and when I look at the graph in 3D, it's going up in one diagonal and down in the other diagonal. I've also set it up so that I look at the slice curve. If I set y equal to 0 and let x vary, I get a minimum at 0. If I set x equal to 0 and let y vary, I get a minimum with respect to y. However, if I go along a diagonal curve where I'm looking at the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate being equal, I get not a minimum but a maximum there. So when I'm looking at my slice curves along x and y, they're both going up. When I'm looking at my slice curve along the diagonal, it's going down. And so this is just an illustration that I can't simply take the partials with respect to x and the partials with respect to y, I have to worry about what's happening with the cross term. Thank you.